Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today uh, we're going to be installing a fuel filter kit by XDP and this is kind of what it looks like. We're going to be installing it on a Chevy 2007 Duramax. So these are for your diesel engines guys. Um, so basically what this does is it makes um, changing your fuel filter much more easier and you also have a bigger filter so it's better for your engine. And I just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys how to install this guy. So we took the air filter assembly off and um, then we decided it'd, much, it'd be a little bit easier probably to access it here underneath the wheel well. So as you can see, it's right here. So it's gonna be a lot easier to take your filter off. So um, once you get your wheel well, wheel well um, cover off, make sure you have a pan. We're gonna pull that pan a little bit closer. So when you take this off, um, it doesn't leave a mess. And then before you do that, make sure you have these wires right here unplugged. Right here. Make sure that's unplugged before you do that. And then we will be on the next step. To get your fuel filter off, put it in your pan so you're not draining oil on the ground. And then you're gonna wanna, this is where it was attached to on the top. So this is what you're gonna wanna do. You wanna take out these two bolts here this one and this one right here. You're gonna to wanna to take those out and um, it's for the spacer here that came with the product that allows you um, to have a little bit more room because the um, adapter actually sticks out a little bit further so you need to put that here in between and put the longer, longer bolts in. Once you have that off, uh, it comes with a pair of two longer size bolts and two smaller bolts. So you're gonna wanna, in my case, I had to put the smaller bolts in, but it might be different on different um, trucks. So make sure to test out and see which one, which bolts um, fit your guys' pickup. But once we got those, got this off, we got the bolts in, and then it comes with the, the little spacer here is the next step. And you're gonna want to put that spacer right in there, just like that. So there's the spacer and then you are ready to get this tightened up. Hey right, guys, we got that tightened up from the last clip, and then now you just screw your adapter on that came in the kit, and then you will screw your air or your fuel filter on. This is the next step. Uh, it, this is your bleeder screw. It comes with a metal one. Um, the one that's on my truck is plastic, so you're, you're gonna wanna change, out, change it out with the metal one that comes in the kit. So you will just um, put it on there a couple turns. All right, you're just gonna wanna keep pumping and till fuel comes out of the bleeder screw, just like that, and you're gonna wanna hand tighten it. Or not hand tighten it, but tighten it with a screwdriver until it's pretty tight with this bleeder screw. All right, here's your finished product. Um, this is the bleeder screw right here, if you guys couldn't see it before, that you're going to want to tighten at the end, and before you tighten it, you want to pump here until fuel comes out of it, and then you want to fully tighten it. So, and here's your, your um, adapter for the gap, and then here's the full adapter for your fuel filter, and then you want to screw your fuel filter in, and that also comes in the kit, and I'll have the kit in the description, but that's what it should look like. So um, that's really all there is to it. And I'll give you a shot underneath. So that's where that white filter was before. And that's where the new one is. So it's not, it's not too bad to install. 
But um, I would definitely recommend probably taking your tire off. That would be a lot easier to access that, but we just um, took our air intake stuff off to, to have more access. But um, I would have took that tire off, but my brother is working on his pickup and he has both jack stands underneath his truck. So I had to do what I had to do with what I had. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. This is what I do to all my Duramax trucks. Um, as soon as I get them, I try to put this adapter on because it makes things a lot easier and a lot cleaner and um, a lot easier to do maintenance. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please check out my other videos. Please like and subscribe if you want to see some more content. And I will see you guys in the next one.